and welcome to another third episode of Movie Match Views on YouTube. Today's movie is a lesser known Disney film, but not to the vague of uh, the blah of Return to Oz and Black Hole. And if anyone saw my previous vlog on whether or not Hocus Pocus was too scary, which turned into other Disney films that were considered too frightening, I mentioned The Watcher in the Woods as one of those. And I didn't want to say anything because I was waiting, waiting uh, for this. So The Watcher in the R Woods had, had its roots in a book that was called, uh, that was published in 76, six. it was called A Watcher in the Woods, it was by Florence Engel Randall, the old, the old Disney license, uh, you all the rights to adapt the book for um, the TV show, but for whatever reason they decided to make it a the theatrical release. So, the plot of the film follows a typical American family and they move into this mansion in the British countryside. But, you guessed it, it's possessed. The housekeeper, played by screen veteran Hedy Davis, um, seems to have a clue as to what's going on. Going on. The little girl has moments, moments where she gets possessed, and the older, and the older daughter, is, bears a remarkable resemblance to the housekeeper's daughter. Going to, you know, going as far as to looking like the exact same the exact same age. So, the two have to solve some sort of a mystery regarding the disappearance of the housekeeper's daughter, who apparently we disappeared 15 or 14 years ago. Go. Now, the Watcher in the Woods had a tumorous uh, production history. The, uh, the film was maimed in the editing room, and the version Disney had signed off on is a re-release from 81. The original cut only got one theatrical screening in New York that explained most, if not all, of the mystery. We even see The Watcher when Anchorbait Entertainment licensed the movie, they had found the original materials reels and wanted to do a two-disc DVD release. The original cut, the way Disney sanctioned it, and then the extended cut. Disney did not clear that idea, so, the, so they only had the original release. And the film was, again, like I said, crashed in Maine, so it was pulled. And they reshot shot the ending, and it was re-released to theaters and drive-ins in 81 with the, the new ending intact. And that has been the version of the film for decades. And it's actually a very good spook for Halloween. The atmosphere scary. The fact that we don't with the original cut actually makes it so that we don't even see see the watcher period yet some of the um yeah just the look of a movie movie two is two just kind of gives it a really spook, spooky vibe it's like i'll admit i did not read the book so I knew very little of this. Well, I knew the film exists just because I read about it. And it's like, like, I will admit some of the acting can get a little, little 
off and kind of stilted. To, particularly the lead was a little, little stiff in her delivery. But yeah, it's like the rest of the cast was good. Betty Davis and the adult actors kind of gave that, that air of mystique. Like, they know what's really going on, but they don't want to let them know about what's really going, you know, going on, but it eventually gets to the point where, yeah, she's going to find out eventually. And the mystery angle was actually good, good too, too, from, okay, it's like, the way the, the actors play play it in certain scenes, particularly with the scenes with Betty Davis, there there's a good scene where and I don't think I'm giving anything away, where she falls into the into the water, the housekeeper runs in runs up up, she gets a stick, but the way the scene is done, it almost looks like she's trying uh, to drown her. But then later it turns out, oh, she was saving her. her. So that kind of gives the sense of, like, you know what's going on, but you don't know the full extent. What are they not telling these people? People. And it works to the film's advan advantage. Tidge, too. So yeah, I would say that Watcher in the Woods du did get a bad rap because again of the criticism, oh it's Disney, they shouldn't be shouldn't be too too scary or frightening. But as a whole, I thought it was it was a good film. Like everything about it was great. The visuals, the mystery angle, go 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 and all that. That so yeah. If anyone hasn't seen this, this go check it out, and it's like, and you might like it. So that was Watcher in the Woods. You can check the channel for my previous stuff, and the next review will be the Mayflower Adventures, the first installment of This Is America, Charlie Brown. So that's Movie Matt signing off. <laughs>